Hi, this is Carlo from World to World Technology, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add SEU5 controller into a Rockwell Automation PLC. First of all, let me show you my setup. I have my Rockwell Automation PLC over here, and I have my SEU5 controller over here, and I have my sensor over here. Let's head to the Studio 5000 and I'll show you how to add the device to the project. First of all, we provide two different kind of interface to Ethernet IP and we need to find out which one you are using. To do this, we can head to the SEO5 controller over here and go into settings, power user, communication, and over here, you will see the brand, the kind of interface that we you are using. In this case, is the Hillshare. So let's go back into the Studio 5000. We will go into the I/O tree and right-click on the Ethernet and add a new module. And we'll go into Search and type R2R, and we'll have the Hillshare controller over here and do create. Over here you will give a name to the controller, I'll call it demo, and you will type in the IP address. The you can if you don't know this, you can also find that on the SU5 controller. Over here you will see the either the IP address for the controller, which is the IP address you need to put into the Studio 5000. You will enter the IP address here, 168.1.100, and then define your connection, click change, exclusive owner. You will need to change this from sint to int, and press OK, yes, and then if you want to change the RPI, which is the interval at which the PLC talks to the SU5 controller, you can do that over here. We are going to leave it at 20 milliseconds for this demo, and that's it. Going to click OK. You click OK. And close. And now you have your SU5 controller over here and you will also see that under the controller tags you will have the generated automatically the variables that show you the input and output register over here now i'm gonna download the, the program and verify that I can actually see data coming in and out of this. So I'm going to go online. I'm going to do download. Download. Yes. I'm in run mode, the controller is OK, the I.O. is OK. I can verify that the connection is running properly, and I can look at the input data. I have some data coming in, and if I move my finger in front of the sensor, I have data changing, so I know I have a good connection to the device. Let's say if by mistake you added an AnyBus IC module instead of the proper e-share module. Let me show you what happens next when you try to go online. Download. Download. You see now you have the I.O. no responding message over here. And if you go to the AnyBus property, 
you will say that status is I.O. faulted and you get uh, an error say that the key is mismatching. That's an indication that you have an improper configuration of the SEO5 controller. Another common mistake is to forget to change the sites of the variable from sint to int. In that case, what will happen is the variable that automatically created when you add the device will be of the wrong site. So there will be 8-bit variable or short int. And in case you are using our AOI instruction, this variable will not match the sites that the AOI instruction is expecting. So the AOI won't work. Also, if you decide to do your own conversion of the register into the real variables, this won't match our documentation, so it will make your life a little bit harder. And there is one also thing to notice that if you, once you realize the mistake, if you go back and try to change this back to int and say OK, yes, and OK, even though you change it, Rockwell at uh, that point won't change the size of the variable that were created. So in that case, to fix the problem, you have to go back, delete the module, and add the module from the beginning. New module, R to R, create, name, demo, IP address, and this time make the right selection here. Okay, close. And now if we open the variable, we see the int or 16 bits. This matches the size that the AOI is expecting and that matches also the documentation of our website. And this concludes the video on how to add the ESU5 controller into the AOI tree for a Rockwell project.